My name is uh, Ken Bingham. I live in Ventura, California now, but I was brought up in Brockton, Mass. And I attended camp in the late 1950s and early 1960s. And then went on to become a part of the kitchen crew. But still, to this day, one of the most important things in my life is when I was asked to be part of the kitchen crew when I got older. I was asked when uh, I'd become part of the kitchen crew, and I was very proud of that because they were the kitchen crew. They're kind of a rowdy bunch, but they were fun. They're ex-campers, and they were like gods to me at that age. You know, they were just. And so I became part of the uh, kitchen crew when I got older for a couple of years, and we'd stay the whole summer. Weekends, if we got all our duties done, we would go to the mainland and clean cabins for a little extra money. Woodbury's Cottages, which are no longer there. Food was fine with me. Food's always been fine with me. You know, we didn't get a whole lot, or food wasn't all that great at home. So some kids complained, but I was always trying to get seconds. And that, that went for the military, too. I've always been a, never complained about food. There was plenty of it, and it was what we needed. Pretty basic. You get macaroni and cheese, maybe meatloaf. Maybe a jello dessert. Basically, it was just kids doing the cooking and kitchen duties. Probably f- between the ages of probably 15 and uh, 18, probably 15 or 17. But we're good. We paid attention to it, and I think we did a pretty good job. Once I think once a session, they would have ice cream. Somebody would donate some money, and they would get ice cream. Since there wasn't any real refrigeration, you know, we had to plan the fish right so it wouldn't be liquid. 